My name is Miss Ige Rurahindwa. I am originally from uh, Congo. I'm a Congolese American. I am a teacher here at International School 45. It is my first year. Prior to this, I was a teacher's aide at uh, Lafayette International. And then I went on to pursue my higher education at Houghton University. What brought me into teaching is when my family got moved to Buffalo, I uh, started working as a teacher's aide and I worked uh, with many students of a refugee background just like me. And it's from there, from working with them for two years as a teacher's aide is where I developed a passion for teaching and wanting to be a teacher. I realized that there was a high need of students from the refugee background to have some sort of representation. So that was my huge motivation to go into teaching. Now that I've been teaching for a few years, I have learned so many things about uh, the teaching profession. Uh, one of the things that I deem to be very important to me is establishing relationship with students. I am a huge believer that when a teacher establishes authentic relationship with the students, it's very easy for the students to respond well to them. A lot of people talk about uh, classroom management and how that can be a huge challenge for teachers. But in my uh, experience, I've learned that establishing a good relationship with students is the, is the key to good classroom management. For example, in my class, I've established such uh, wonderful relationships with my students, whereby it's usually very easy for me to redirect them when there is a need uh, to do that. I am passionate about promoting good quality education to the refugee community in Buffalo. There's not that many refugee teachers in the Buffalo schools. So I think that me being a teacher here is just an open door to many other kids. Uh, I've had many of my students come to me telling me that they would like to be teachers someday and be just like me. That's what encourages me to wake up every morning and come to school and do what I do. Extending education to the refugee community is something that motivates me and encourages me to wake up every morning and do what I do here at International School 45. The thing I really love doing with my students is doing restorative of justice circles. So every morning I start the day with circle time where me and my kids talk about things that are going on in our community, in our school, and that just helps set up the tune for the day and it helps me check in with my students and see where they are. I encourage them to talk about a lot during circle time is their emotions. It's unfortunate that, you know, COVID left a huge impact on students' emotional well-being. It is hard for them to navigate their emotions. So we, we, talk, we talk about different strategies on how to cope with the bad feelings. And we also just, you know, I, I encourage them to be more expressive with their words and encourage them to be good friends to one another. Teaching is so much more than math and science and all these things, which are really important. But what I find to be really um, effective is incorporating both cultural and social emotional being into teaching because the goal for teaching is always to reach the whole child and not just a part of the child. I haven't been in the classroom for a very long time but one thing that I would advise a new teacher is that it is very important to be empathetic to our to your students because many students in our uh, school district especially like the refugee kids they come in with a lot of trauma and understanding that as a teacher helps you the teacher to find the right way to reach that child. 
the second thing that I've learned is that, you know, tomorrow is always a new day. When a student does something that's hard and stressful to the teacher, I think it's really important for you to go home and release that and have that as a new day because everybody deserves a new chance. <laughs>